show someone so what you're doing. And I just want to know if there's any pointers where you can tell us to get global uh, distribution. Wow. It's going to be hard. Because without a name, look, people tune into television either because they think it's very high concept, and to just be another man on TV is not high concept enough, or unless they recognize your name and are interested in the celebrity of it. So you've got two strikes against you, but if you can get a television broadcaster to broadcast your show, you're way ahead of the pack. Very impossible, very close to impossible. Uncle D, the main announcement is actually the celebrity status of the show. He's a very famous uh, photographer. The photographer is uh, Let's let's test. Have you heard what's the name? Uncle D the Canadian Asthma. Have you heard of Uncle D the Canadian Asthma? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's two viewers. He's actually from uh, Nova Scotia. Thank you, gentlemen. Next question is here, Jim. Well, so so if you've got this guy who's known in Nova Scotia and you can get on the air, do it. Take every opportunity because the old days are gone. Radio videos yesterday. Hi Gene, Michael from CBC. Uh, we've had a lot of bands today, like Sundown, who uh, are here to see you and hopefully get on your label. Just wondering what sort of hope they have to actually get signed. Slim. <laughs> like in real life. You know, uh, life is a contest. I don't care if you're auditioning for anything. If you go for a television <laughs> interview, this guy, or beauty contest, or weightlifting, you know, life is tough, and it should be the best of the best, because I don't know how to tell everybody this, we're not looking for somebody that's as good as Chilliwack or foot in cold water, we're looking for something that's going to compete worldwide before your time. Once upon a time, there are bands like the Stan Peters. So, you want to be able to compete against U2 and the Stones, the biggest bands in the world, that's what we're looking for. And it doesn't have to be rock and roll. Jonas Brothers, you bet your ass. If I find another group of cute young kids that can write their own songs, or another Chris Brown without the physical cruelty, you bet we'd do that in a heartbeat. But this guy should definitely wind up in jail, this kid, Chris Brown. You lift your hand at a woman, and you should become somebody's girlfriend fast. Sorry, go on. Is there any hope for them? Or should you just give up? No, what, why? I didn't say that. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. But if you want me to uh, paint a rosy picture, it's hard out there. Okay. Thank you, G. Okay. Next question's here. Okay. Hi, uh, Josh Ostroff from AOL Canada. Uh, during your keynote, you were talking a lot about all the great things that record labels have done for you. Um, why do you think that they've kind of developed reputations of bad guys over the years? And they haven't. It's that the musicians aren't qualified to even play their own instruments. Nobody learned how to read or write music. You don't have a fucking clue what music theory is. And there, but for the grace of God, I make the joke, you'd be asking for flipping burgers. The fact that somebody who winds up going from a guitar to Wembley Stadium doesn't mean you're qualified to make an assessment about anything. So these assholes who wound up becoming superstars thought that the people that were giving them millions of dollars not return. If it fails, you never have to give it back. They thought they were their own work. They thought that was the enemy. Tell me what's wrong with this picture. Does an artist run label operate any differently like yours? Well, in the real world, somebody's got to pay for the, for the cost of living. And so the advantage of teaming up with the Universal Records Universal Music in Canada, obviously, is you've got a team and an infrastructure that already pre-exists. Instead of hiring people and going through a learning curve, an enormous amounts of money. And I, I really don't want to spend my time in training somebody in Sudbury on how to get the records out there and try to sell, you know, ten more CDs or how to download it. So. I've always thought as record companies as the best friend you ever had. Because even your mom, when she lent you a hundred bucks, she wanted you to give it back. Record companies never did. I agree with G. Uh, here? I agree. He's from Universal Music. <laughs>